Assalamu alaikum my dear students I hope you all are fine and paying good attention to your studies my dear students our today's video is related to english grade 4 as you all know we have started our second term in our today's video we will do the reading and and explanation of a unit which is included in our second term my dear students our today's unit is unit number 12 helping others it is quite clear from the pictures and from the name as well that our unit is going to be about how we can help others and our unit is based on the message of helping others in the time of need we can help each other in different ways when someone gets hurt we can help that person when we see an old person an elderly person we can help them by serving a cup of tea or by helping them in crossing a road not only humans if we see an animal in pain we should also help that animal my dear students helping each other in time of problem in time of need is a great deed even it is liked by mighty lord so our today's unit is about a friend who will help his friend in the time of need in the time of trouble so let's start the reading and then we will understand that what this story is about unit 12 helping others reading miss aisha was taking attendance in the classroom just then a staff officer walked in and called out ahmed's name telling him to come along to the accounts office ahmed went out and came back after a couple of minutes he was looking very upset so my dear students as you can see it is a classroom and the class in charge is taking attendance and there are students sitting in the classroom and then a officer an admin admin officer came in and that officer called the name of a boy whose name was ahmed my dear students upset is a word used over here which means sad now let's see what will happen next ahmed's friend haris had been observing him for some time observing mean that looking at him and taking notice of him during lunch break haris talked to ahmed to find out why he was upset upset as i told you it means sad but he wouldn't say anything two days passed by ahmed still wasn't in his usual cheerful mood cheerful mean happy at lunch break ahmed was sitting alone on a bench haris thought it would be a good time to try and talk to ahmed again dear students haris seems to be an observant boy he is observing ahmed that he is sad from a couple of days and he is trying to ask from ahmed that ahmed please tell me what is the problem now let's see what will happen next you look very upset i am your friend you can share your problems with me said haris politely politely means softly Ahmed kept quiet for a while. He knew he could confide in Haris. Confide mean trust Haris. So he said, "My father hasn't been able to pay my school dues for the last three months. Actually, he is a businessman and having a hard time nowadays. If he is not able to pay my dues," I will not be allowed to attend school anymore. Haris felt sorry for his friend. My dear students, this is the problem that Ahmed's father is a businessman and he is having problem. He is having hard time in business. Therefore, he is having financial issues and he has not paid Ahmed's fees for a couple of months. And because of that, Ahmed. could get struck out from the school he won't be able to attend the school therefore he is so sad and his friend haris he also felt so sorry so sad after hearing the truth after getting a knowledge about that what is the actual situation 
Now, my dear students, we will see that what will happen next. Ahmed was his best friend, so he could not see him in trouble. There is a way out. I will help my friend in a way that he won't get to know about it. He said to himself. In the evening, Harish told everything to his father and asked him if he could do anything to help his friend. Harish's father was delighted. to know that his son was so thoughtful towards his friends i am proud of you my son i wish everyone in the world had friends like you he said don't worry your friend will not be barred from attending school haris thanked his father he was very happy now my dear students as you can observe over here that Haris discussed all the problem with his father and the most important and the most appreciable thing is over here that Haris thought that he should help his friend in a in a way that he won't know that he is helping his friend like this he can take care of the self respect of his friend and i think it is very important message in this story now we will see what will happen next Haris father phoned Ahmed's father and told him that he wanted to lend him some money so he could pay his son's dues dues means fees payment Ahmed's father reluctantly accepted the offer reluctantly mean that he was not uh, he was hesitant he was not very willing reluctantly accepted the offer but promised that he would return him the money soon The next day Haris was Haris went to school and was delighted delighted mean happy to see Ahmed in the class Ahmed was looking very relaxed he told Haris that his father had paid all his school dues Haris thanked Allah subhanahu wa taala So my dear stu- students as you can see that in the end Ahmed was happy because his father finally paid all the fees with the help of the money given by Ahmed's father to the Haris father like this in this story a message of helping each other in the time of need is given which is very very important now my dear students we will look at a question of uh, this unit which is difficult words and their meaning so let's start vocabulary focus we will uh, write we will see the meanings of these difficult words our first word is reluctantly it means in an unwilling way our next word is trouble which means a problem worry or difficulty our next word is cheerful its meaning is in a happy mood our next word is confide to tell a secret to someone with a promise not to tell others so my dear students these are our difficult words reluctantly reluctantly trouble trouble cheerful cheerful confide confide now we will solve the question answers my dear students our first question is where is the story set which means that at what place or what kind of situation the story is written so the answer will be the story is set in a school our second question is why wasn't ahmed's father able to pay the school dues as you all know from the story so the answer will be ahmed's father was unable to pay the school dues as being a businessman he was having a hard time our next question is what character do you like the most why now my dear students i have written over here i like haris father as he is a kind and generous man but you can write about the character of your own choice so my dear sto- students this is the story which gives a very important message of helping others in the time of need and there are two friends in the story a uh, one friend is in trouble and the other friend who has a very kind heart he silently helps his friend now this is most important that instead of telling the friend that we are helping you he just secretly helped his friend and his father was proud of him 
सो दिस इज इट फॉर टूडे माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द लेसन थैंक यू सो मच